Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations, as always, to the elect. Before I get started, I wanted to uh, make mention of the last video I did, you know, dealing with uh, the Sakari. Um, I noticed I didn't give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, Bashim Rachakwadash, which, you know, that's uh, something we want to do before every video, as well as double honors to the, you know, the men who labored, all right, so that we can have, a, you know, not the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding all right, and a platform to enter into through the Holy Spirit, man. So, um, as the scriptures say, there's a man that slippeth in his speech, but not from his mind. And uh, that was one of those situations that wasn't my intent. But um, just uh, put that out there through the Spirit to cover myself. And uh, today's lesson, try to make it as short as possible, but it's very important. You know, I was speaking to the Akim, the brothers yesterday, and, you know, we were having conversation and uh, the topic of health came up. And, you know, we're um, in a situation here where everything's just jacked up, defiled. And um, we are still under the curses, which the curses are being lifted. But you don't want to have a cursed mentality. All right. We understand that, you know, the uh, situation that we're in is jacked up. The circumstances are messed up. But what we do in our actions. All right. Uh, are very important. Um, as we. Uh, walk through the straight gate. OK, as the scriptures say, do good unto thyself. All right. And you, you do good to yourself. All right. In many ways. All right. As we, you know, gain this knowledge of wisdom and understanding, you have to be mindful of what you give your energy to, you know, uh, you brothers, the, uh, the the type of women you allow, you know, in your, your your space, you women as well. All right. We we you know, we didn't learn this knowledge, wisdom and understanding to just live as reprobates. And we, you know, all go through things. But in certain brothers and sisters are used as sacrifices to have testimonies. All right. To, uh, you know, give to brothers and other sisters so they can know what and what not to do. All right. But as the scriptures say, do good unto thyself and the aspect of health. As we're in this ministry, you know, what good are you if you're constantly sick? All right. And messed up. Now, we all have ailments. We all are jacked up, you know, and, you know, a big part of this ministry requires, you know, our mind you know, in our physical bodies as we have to make our body a living sacrifice. And we understand every, nothing's going to ever be perfect in hell, but you can do good to yourself and attaining a better diet, you know, which leads to a better mentality, all right? A lot of the depression, a lot of the, you know, sicknesses that brothers deal with, all right, is their diets. And brothers know it, but again, you know, every each each and every individual has you know their, their 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 demons you know that comes with your set of uh you you come into this truth you get the knowledge wisdom and understanding but it also comes with a set of demons that are going to plague you all right for certain brothers it's food alcohol all right which you know these things can become addictive all right because you know again we're here in babylon the food is you know plagued with drugs alcohol has been you know used by a lot of brothers as coping mechanisms but these things take away so you have to be mindful of your intake you have to be mindful of uh you know uh, eating you know the the better foods because it's only so much you know brothers can pray for you at some point things have to be put into action all right. You know, you have an ailment, you know, you're dealing with certain things, but you don't change the way you eat. You don't change, you know, the, the your, your habits. All right. But then you, you get into these jacked up situations constantly and his brother's got to pray for you and brothers are going to pray for you. All right. That's just a part of what we do. Anoint you, pray for you. But at some point you all right, have to put into action and use the tools necessary. All right. The scriptures say the Lord have created medicines out of the earth. 
and he that is wise will not abhor them. Now with prayer, you take the herbs, all right? You 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 add it to your diet. You find out what ailments you got, all right? And you know you 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 utilize what you have with prayer to the best of your ability, all right? And you change the way you think. You change the way you eat, as the scriptures say. Uh, uh, as we're right reading right here, Sirach thirty and fifteen. Health and good state of body are above all gold, and as we get older. We have to go harder, okay? Because, you know, when we were, were younger, you know, and didn't have the knowledge, was in an understanding, our parents, you know, if you were blessed to have parents that taught health and, you know, made you watch what you eat, you know, that's good. But the majority of our parents, you know, they, they, they just, we was just eating, we was just running wild, man. And a lot of that catches up to you as you get older, all right? And you have to change it up. You can't eat and live the same way that you lived when you were you know 15 even 20 all right so you have to change and adjust and as the scriptures say health and a good state all right of body are above gold all right it's above gold when you're feeling good and of course here in babylon the great you're never going to feel a hundred percent all right but you 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 feel even worse all right it adds to the affliction when you're eating a bunch of uh, BS when you're drinking a whole bunch of sodas when you're every day you you wake up you you start off drinking okay these things make you bitter they have a, an effect on your spirit your mood okay you're not drinking you know water to uh, balance things out you're just constantly drinking eating all right you don't uh, deal with the the vegetables all right and then when you when you get jacked up you know again. It's, you can only blame yourself. All right? Still drinking a whole bunch of sodas. All right? You have to change. All right? And a lot of the sodas, you can make your a natural, all right, uh, a form of it. All right? Like, you know, some people like Sprite. Well, you could just take a seltzer water, carbonated water, add lemon, lime, and honey. Okay? Ginger. All right? And, it, and it's, a, it's a good drink. Okay, but again, you have to switch it up. Okay, because again, what what good are you to the ministry? All right, if ultimately you're jacked up. Okay, you do you do better for the ministry as well. Not only yourself, when you're in a better spirit, and you're in a better spirit when you eat better. Okay, and for some brothers, you know, you know, the Lord has you know a, a part of your walk a part of your you know your curse your uh, thorn is you know bad health sickness illness all right but that doesn't give you uh the go ahead to just live a reprobate lifestyle and just eat jacked up because that's going to make it worse so health and a good state of body are above all gold all right and, and we always go to that scripture as well before i go there uh bodily exercise profited little in the book of first timothy's the fourth chapter in the uh eighth verse okay for bodily exercise profited little but go godliness is profitable unto all things now when you look at this word little all right it's uh pros pros okay to the advantage of et nearby towards with with regard to so so bodily exercise all right, which, you know, as I've gotten older, I don't do those, you know, extremely hard work, you know, long drawn out workers. Now, some brothers are into the working out and that's beautiful, man. Brothers are going hard, you know, but, you know, as I've gotten older, I've adjusted my style. You know, I'm not I don't play football anymore. All right. So I've adjusted my style, you know, to uh, intermittent fasting, which, again, when you try to when you do your intermittent fasting. All right. It's best to just you know, uh, start counting your hours when you last eat. Cause if you try to, you know, make it to where it gotta be five o'clock every day, you're going to start to miss the mark. And then you're going to get, you know, uh, agitated with the process and you're just going to stop doing it. So if I stop eating at eight again, the next day at eight in the morning, all right, your body's already fasted 12 hours. Okay. And you try to do you know, uh, uh, six more from there. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 
all right, one, around around two o'clock, all right, you can start eating in between in, all right, you're drinking tea, water, all right, or you're just not, you just, there's nothing, all right, that will be 18 hours of fasting where your body's able to heal itself, okay, and work on the things, because if you're constantly eating, all right, your body is going to focus on more of digestion and is going to leave off from doing the things necessary for healing, okay, constantly eating these foods in Babylon, all right, only lead to, uh, you know, it, it takes you down, all right, so you want to, you know, add fasting on some level, all right, to your, uh, uh, your program, but then you also want to do a form of working out, walking, okay, you find little, you know, the workouts that for, for, for older people, <laughs> as I've done, you got this dude, you know, I forget his name, he do the look better, you know, you know, 20, it's a 22 minute workout. All right, I do that. I may walk. You know, when the apostle uh, uh, was here, and even the apostle recall now, we go, we go walk. We do trails. All right, you get out in nature. You know, and these these things are all to the best of your ability. All right, because you know, working out doesn't have to be this hardcore, drawn out. You know, uh, lifting 400 pounds, squatting 800 pounds. You know, some brothers get into that, and, and that's good. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, but it doesn't take all of that for every brother. All right, every brother ain't going to be into it on that level, but you do want to add some form of, you know, working out, being active. Okay, physical training is good, but training in godliness is much better. So it's good. It does profit. All right, now going back to the scripture we had here, Sirach 30 and 15, health and good estate of the body are above gold, and a strong body is above infinite wealth. All right. If you you can be a trillionaire, if you all jacked up and sick and your, your gallbladder falling out, your, your your knee fell off, your back jacked up, what, what good is it? OK. It says there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above. All right. The joy of the heart and the joy of the heart. The Hebrew word for heart is lob, which is your mind. OK. And when you feel good. OK. You wake up, you drink a decent tea. All right, you're drinking water, you're taking your herbs, you're not stuffing your face the, the first time, the first thing you, you uh, uh, you know, when you first get up. And the intermittent fasting, again, if you're just starting, you don't have to do 18 hours. Some brothers do 22 hours, some brothers do 20 hours, all right? Sometimes you do a full 24-hour fast with nothing, all right? You can start off, you know, with, with, with you know, the 14 hours, okay, 15 hours. And then as you see the results, all right, it's gonna, you know, become easier to you. So don't, you know, you, you just starting, you know, I'm gonna do all right, 22 hours every day. And then, you know, you miss the mark and you all jacked up. Again, gradualism, go, you know, gradually, all right, build to something, all right? And you're not gonna instantly get results, but it's, sometimes it's about faith and behavior patterns, okay? Faith and discipline leads to what? All right, uh, 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 things changing. All right. Getting uh, getting into the habit of doing things. OK. And after a while, you start to notice, damn, it's better. I am better. All right. But again, we're under the curses. All right. And the curses are being lifted. Through the Holy Spirit, but you don't want to have a curse mentality. Your mind is supposed to be renewed even in your diet. OK. And of course, these things are all to the best of your ability. And sometimes we are going to fall short. Sometimes. You are going to have your folly, all right, but 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 be mindful of that. The folly can't be every day or every other day, okay? All right, you know you have, you know, uh, heart issues. You know you have all of these ailments, but you're eating a terrible diet, all right? And then if you get jacked up, we got to, you know, rush and do this for you and pray for you and do that, all right? So you, 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 you yourself as well, there's a responsibility of yourself for the ministry's sake, all right, as well, to take care of yourself, man. All right? Don't allow the, these foods and the, and, the, and, the, and the drugs and all of that to overcome you, man. You 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 are a man of the Lord, right? You believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so you, you can't allow these particular things to constantly have power over you, okay? And... All right, there's a point where you know it's to a detriment, 
So that much more you should be fervent to do to do better, to eat better, to live better, to think better. Okay? Don't just you know Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, you know. You, hey, you gotta put Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai into action in your life as well. Right? So there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the mind. And your mind is better when you're eating better. All right? When you're feeling better. When you're drinking more water. Okay? And some, you know, some people are going to be bigger. That's just, a, you know, everybody ain't going to be all slim and small. All right? But how you take care of yourself is very, very important. And you can lose some of that weight if you just implement, all right, uh, 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 um, uh, what's this word I'm looking for? I just said a discipline. Okay? Discipline. Death is better than uh, life or continual sickness. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness, man. And again, some of us have to deal with continual sickness, all right? And that's just your thorn, all right? But a lot of things can be fixed, all right, if we apply discipline prayer to get over these demons because a lot of the demons that come with food and alcohol they they appease our flesh so we really don't pray for it to be lifted because of the the comfort it brings us in the flesh and again there's particular things that you can do and behavior patterns that you can you know uh, have that aren't really a sin in a sense but gluttony is a sin all right but again there's particular things that are lawful OK, or, or things that you, you can, you know, partake in. All right. That necessarily ain't wicked. All right. But for the, the, the benefit of yourself, for the benefit of the ministry, it will be good to balance these things out. It will be good to pray and fight fervently to do better in these areas. All right. Because some of us are, are, are as the scriptures say, um, confident in a plain way. We're Israelites. We're the princes of the power, man. Again. The, we're, we're being prepared to be the leaders of the of the of the world under Yahweh Shai, man. OK, so why not start with, you know, implementing a, a better mindset, a better way, a better diet. OK, you eating cheeseburgers every other day. Brothers, look up, you eating, uh, 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 you know, the chips all the goddamn time. All right. Uh, uh, you know, cream cake cakes, little, little Debbie cakes with cream in it. OK, you got to start calling brothers out. You see doing that, man, because th those are demons that brothers battle in addiction. All right. You have your drug addict and crackhead on the corner, you know, destitute. But then you got, you know, in this in this captivity, you you have, you know, right, particular addictions that come with food. I myself have those addictions. All right. This is why I've implemented fasting. OK, daily. OK, some days you miss the mark. Some days them spirits jump on you like, look, I'm for the eat. I'm going to keep eating. You know what I'm saying? But you, you know, uh, you can't live in that. All right. Because of depression and, and being, you know, uh, bitter. All right. Naturally, your body is going to crave things to, to what? That's why they call them comfort foods. Your body is craving comfort. So you, you go to things like drinking or whatever, you know, uh, vice you have to the point where it's becoming your comfort and it becomes a God unto you, right? So be be very, very mindful uh, in this uh, captivity. Let's see here. Um, let's get 20, let's get uh, 31, Sirach 31. And let's start at maybe 16. Eat as it becometh. As a matter of fact, let me get this in a uh, in a different version real quick. And we, we read this before. <laughs> the Bible will deal with everything, man. Um, Sirach 31 and 16. <laughs> when you eat, when you, when you get your food, eat it like a human being. Don't smack and slurp. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> And you got particular brothers, like, sometimes I have to get on my son. You know, you smacking. Look, bro, shit. Nobody want to hear you eating. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We just got to get the hell up out of here, man. But you got certain brothers be smacking all loud when they eating. <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> oh man, the writer of the, you know, the, the, it, it, he was like, look, man. All right, etiquette, you know, certain things that, you know, you can apply to your walk. It's not necessarily a sin if you're smacking and slurping, but, you know, etiquette, you know, the, 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 again, we're transforming ourselves, you know, so there's certain things you do want to be mindful of, all right, um, as you're, uh, you know, with brothers or out in this world, okay, everyday, you know, uh, uh, things. It says, don't smack and slurp. Nobody wants to hear that. It is good manners to be to it said it is good manners to be the first to stop eating all right meaning you know your intake some some you know that's the thing i battle with you know when something good it's like shit you know i just devour and i want more and more you know but i've you know i've grown to you know ultimately you know i have my days i'm not getting on this video and acting as if i'm just this perfect you know you know i, I have my battles in the health but i will tell you when you battle these demons and these behavior patterns that come with food and alcohol or whatever vice you uh balancing these things out do help you do feel better when you know when you apply discipline in a particular way like you know you some people you know this world teaches you you got to see results instantly it ain't gonna work like that results come through time patience the kingdom of heaven the lord didn't just give us the kingdom like that it took us to repent wake up it's a process. Okay, change our mind. The elect literally had to change their mind. It's a process. The Lord didn't just give us the result right away. The results came through what? Patience, long suffering. And you have to uh, 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 do the same thing with your health until we get those new bodies. All right. And certain of us, all right, don't don't take it serious until the, the ailment, like until uh, you have a heart attack or something crazy happened and that's jake you know you've seen brothers get serious like they they have a, a a slip up or some type of mishap and then you know you start to you see the change in that brother and that's a good thing all right but some things you can prevent all right through changing now all right and you know the brother be all serious you don't eat certain things anymore you you start to know yeah that brother's serious and then he starts to lose weight there's a brother in the camp had a a, a particular ailment and issue all right. But once he had that, you could tell he had to go to the hospital shit. But you could tell after that he it was like, oh, shit, that brother, he's he, he's serious. He looks good. All right. He lost a whole bunch of weight when he's around. You don't see him doing a whole bunch of drinking. You don't see him doing a whole bunch of eating. He's mindful. Right. So, you know, uh, 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 you know, use brothers as an example around you, too. All right. And, and when you, you got brothers in the camp dealing with health issues, address it, man. You know, help the brother. But again, again, too, it's, it's only so much others can do for you. You have to apply uh, uh, these these behavior patterns for yourself. Again, it, nobody else can save you. All right. And it's only so much praying and this and that and advice brothers can give you. And some brothers already know what they need to do all right but again we're in this flesh okay and what you want to do like paul talked about in romans the seventh chapter the things you want to do you'll get on a plan you'll get on start doing something and then you'll just fall off all right so until we get the new bodies do the best with the ones you got all right it is good manners to stop to be the first to stop eating stuffing yourself is offensive and that was a demon I used to have on me. Just eat until you just completely. It's so good. You just want to keep tasting it, keep tasting it, keep tasting it. Then you just bloated and big and full to where you're no good. How you go deal with a woman full like that? <laughs> you can't deal with no, you know, you just completely full and stuff. You breathing all hard. Your eyes popping out your head. You looking back. You sweating. You're doing too much. That's demonic. That's not a good way to live, man. Just stuffing yourself i'm learning to eat until i'm good and then that's it okay it says if there be many people present all right and that goes into gluttony which that's a law against that man if there be any many people present don't try to be the first to be served you know rushing 
to the stove. You know, we do things in order. And I've been, I've went over this before. All right. It says, uh, you know, deal with order too. When brothers are eating, you know, don't, you know, brother, the first at the stove, losing his damn mind. Calm your ass down. It says, if there be many people present, don't try to be the first to be served. A little bit is plenty to anyone with good manners. All right, because you got to be mindful. Others got to eat. All right, before you get your seconds, wait for everybody to eat. Don't go and get your seconds before, you know, the, the, be, being mindful. And these things help to create better patterns, behavior patterns, thought patterns, man. Okay, so it's better for the nation when we apply these things. All right, because, you know, you got people walking around with fringes and and there's nothing wrong with the fringes, but you know, overall, Jake ain't transforming their mind. Okay, transform your mind, man. Okay, it says a little bit is plenty for anyone with good manners. Okay, but you know, Jake like to eat too. All right, but the, this is advice. Okay, the, uh, uh, for etiquette's sake. Okay, it says. Besides, you won't be short of breath when you go to bed. All right, you eat and get completely stuffed and you try to lay down, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. People who eat too much get stomach aches and cannot sleep. If you don't overeat, all right, you can get a good night's sleep and wake up early, all right, and the next morning feeling fine. And, and when, you, when you start to implement health, eating better, even when you wake up, I mean, you don't need an alarm clock, okay? You, you just wake up. And when you wake up, you you have your wits with you. It's nothing like waking up with your wits and with a with a with a spark of energy, all right. Outside of needing, all right, I gotta take this caffeine. You know, which you drinking tea. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You that that I start my most of my days off with tea, but it's even better when I wake up and my wits are with me. Okay. It says You can't get a good night's sleep and wake up early the next morning feeling fine. You can get it. if you if you don't overeat, you can you feel better when you wake up. It says, but if you if you do get a stomach ache from eating too much, go off and vomit and you will feel better, my child. If you listen to what I am saying and put it into practice, one of these days you will thank me for it. Be moderate in everything you do and you will never get sick. So that's the thing. Be moderate. All right, we with the scriptures say bodily, you know, uh, 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 exercise profited little. All right, but hey, that little, that little is good, you know, uh, 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 for the for the benefit of your walk. All right, because again, it's always better to feel better. Damn, I think I did. it's always better to feel better, man. All right, it's always, you know, you you, you don't want to just be a, 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 a all right because of that. That feel comes with depression and anger and, you know, it's just not, it ain't it. A lot of the hell brothers catch, they, they, they put on themselves because through their diet, okay? Always angry, always mad, drinking too, you know, drinking too much and, and not being mindful of the intake of certain things you, 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 uh, you intake. But anyway, Lord willing, this was at a fine shalom.